Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is going to have to be a super quickie because it is 4.30 in the morning and I got work to do. So I uh, didn't have any time to do anything yesterday. So let's go ahead and put... Actually, I, want, I wanted to build a transport for um, the Kerbals for the Duna Colony, right? So I have a personnel transport. And what I want to try to figure out first is can I build a... Um, a transport with only the external command seats. Is it possible to link up with one of the one of the colonist landers via docking port and be able to transfer them over directly to the seats? So I'm gonna test that out right now. So this will be a simple test on whether or not I can transfer kerbals that are inside of a container into a seat that's attached to it. Either, you know, by the the claw or docking port. All right, let's do this. Uh, transfer. Ah, no, that's a no. Well, shit. Hmm. I thought that would have been cool to have like a tiny little rover where the just a bunch of little seats and stuff. But it's gonna be a no, huh? I mean, we could still go for the tiny rover thing, but it's definitely not gonna be a transport. All right. Uh. Actually, no. If we're going to build it, that means we have to go like this. Uh, cubic octagonal strut first. Medium-sized docking port. Take the tool, the move tool. Make sure toggle snap is on. Hold down shift. Shit. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. It's time to go. Hold down shift and just one click over. There we go. That's good. All right. There. Put that there. Uh, duplicate it. I don't want it too big. I mean, let's see. That's eight. Eight Kerbals is fine for small transport. I'm not trying to make a bus or anything. Well, maybe I should make a bus. That's going to need some gas, right? It's going to need some power. There we go. What else? Uh, batteries? Hmm. As long as we have this, we don't need batteries. That's its own, its own fuel cell. It's kind of its own battery. Don't need any solar powers if we have fuel cell. Definitely going to need some lights in a minute. Do that last. Put some wheels on the subject. Should we have big wheels though, or should we have these wheels? Hmm. Big wheels or these wheels? Choices, choices. Let's see what it looked like with these wheels first. I don't know. I'm 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 actually kind of liking it. Now it depends. Like if it falls all the way down and, and crushes the fuel tank, well, obviously. Can't have that, right? You know, seven tells me this would actually need a another wheel. Hmm. I mean it looks cool, I guess. Let me test it out real quick. Yeah, moves all right. Moves decent enough. Ooh, the electric charge is crap. <clears throat> Even though I have uh, these little engines running right here. And I'm going to guess that's because of the fact that I have six wheels. I'm just that. Uh, that's my guess. I have six wheels, so it's a little bit more energy drain on it. Whoa, got some air on that one. Mm, let's test some downhill action. And here we go. Going downhill. No problems. And let's see if we can go uphill. Get a little speed going. And hit it, hit it, hit it. There you go. That's very good. Okay, so that was cool and everything. But noticeable power drain having six wheels. Let's try with our four big ones. Okay, so it requires electric charge of 2.5 seconds for the little ones or the medium ones that we were using compared to these, which is three. So we are saving a little bit of electricity using these. And the reason why we're saving a little bit of electricity is because we're only using four of them compared to the other ones. So we're like six of them. So a little less drain, not much, but a little less drain. Okay, so I added a battery in there for good measure. And let's see, everything's good. Yep, yep, yep. Now, if I remember correctly, they never did implement the ability for crew to go back in and out of the uh, crew cabins or even cockpits using this door. For some reason, they were always implementing that they come out of this door. And so this door was never given painted, paid attention, no mine or whatever, unfortunately. So we can't have them come in and out of this door. Sadly, it's not going to happen. So I don't know if this is going to work or not. I put a lander can back here. One of these big guys right here. Um, it's a lot of clipping and I'm trying to keep from doing a whole lot of clipping. But if it allows Kerbals to go in and out, hmm, I don't, I don't, I don't know. This is not an exploration vehicle. This is a simple transport from one building to another. 
So there really is no EVA, and if there is an EVA, then it'd be like a special type of EVA. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. So for like exploration vessels or exploration rovers, we probably would do something like this. But I think for this instance, it's just a simple dock to a building, transport kerbals to another building kind of thing. Yeah, I think, I think that's what we're going to go with. Something simple, very low part count. And you know, if that's the case, if all it is is just a transport, it's not really an exploration vehicle, it's going to stay within the confines of the base, I would probably even go as far as to make it robotic. So actually, let's do that. Let's make it completely robotic. We don't need this battery here anymore because the drone core has its own battery. That'll save on part count. We'll add some lights, just a nice illuminator will do, just one, help with part count. I would use a spotlight and make it more kind of high tech, but unfortunately it doesn't really illuminate that much in comparison just to your average uh, illuminator piece, so uh, I, I, can't, I can't really justify using this, the little spotlight. Alright, that's pretty much it then. We have power, we have control, we have light, dogging, there it is. Huh, okay, not bad. Now, of course, future versions of this will be more of an exploration craft, in which case I'll put on a uh, command module and a way to get in and out. But until then, that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I am Veos, and if you like what you saw, please consider subscribing and clicking on that bell notification. I download, upload, hey, I got you there, upload every day. It's kind of like left load and right load, but, you know, it's it's upload. So, yeah, upload every day, and, it, uh, and if I have time, sometimes I upload load different games during the evening hours like i'm working on a fallout 4 uh video right now a little bit at a time i've been working on it for the past week that should come out one of these evenings coming up soon so look forward to that all right everyone i'm off to work have a wonderful day please stay safe love you all and i'll see you in the next video bye for now bye bye up the hill up the hill ah, yep yeah oh yeah oh yeah that was nice